I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to the first oh. episode. <laughs> What's with the camera, guys? The half time roomies. In our very first episode, we are going to debate Bill Belichick versus Tom Brady. Okay. Who was responsible for the Patriots' success? Why are you speaking in such a porny voice? <laughs> <laughs> the porn voice is central to this character of mine. Okay, all right. Okay. Go ahead. So, well, let me introduce my uh, non-porn star name. My name is uh, Thomas Joseph. I'm going to be the moderator for this fiery debate. Uh, I will also be the police scholar if this debate gets out of hand. Because oh. we know you have a proclivity to fight the two of <laughs> yes, you. Yes. So that Punjabi blood of yes. yours. Ooh. On my right is Yashraj Singh Dillon. YDX as we call him. <laughs> He's, nobody calls me that. Nobody calls him that. Uh, that's his Twitter handle. That's how the internet knows him. And to my left, we have Rupam Singh. Yes. Uh, what do they He's call a, you? Alien. There's a lot of names. King Sin. Yes. But also uh, Poopy Pie. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the ladies of uh, Ryan International. The ladies call me Rupee Pie. <laughs> that has happened before. Well, ladies, Rupee Pie, there you have it. Let's get into it. So, we're going to get into Tom Brady, one of the greatest athletes of all time, versus Bill Belichick, possibly one of the greatest coaches of all time. Who, okay, so gun to your head, you have to choose. I'm not going to allow a situation where you say, oh, both, or oh, it's half and half. This is 2020. Sensationalism is fucking supreme right now. So, gun to your head, you have to choose. Who do you think was responsible for the Patriots' success? I'm going to start with Yash. Right. Um, <clears throat> so here's the thing. I mean, no gun to my head. I would say it's a 50-50 situation. Gun to your head. We have established this at the beginning. Gun to your head. You have to choose. This video will not be clickbaity enough otherwise. Right. So gun to my head, I would choose uh, Tom Brady. Why? Um, and... So Bill Belichick started off as a head coach back in 91 with Cleveland. And he had a decent time, I would say. Um, did not have a winning record. He had, I think, uh, 36 wins and 44 losses. Um, the problem was that in the 93 season, he let go of Bernie Kosser, who then signed with um, the Cowboys a few days later and won a Super Bowl. So there were some issues about does Belichick have the right judgment call does he does he does he scout his players well enough does he know the strengths and weaknesses of his players but fast forward another five or six years and he's with the patriots of course his first season is absolutely abysmal five and eleven but they do sign this young chap with the 199th pick turns out to tom brady and he starts the next season and they turn they they, they, they just switch their fortunes around go 11 and 5 the next season and I think the rest is all history. I mean, they won, went to nine Super Bowls, won six of those. Um, the reason why I say Tom Brady, though, is because he comes through as a clutch player when it matters the most. Because, see, in the end, Tom Brady is the one who's taking the bumps on the field. He's one. He's the one calling the calling calling the plays. He's, he's, he's making the passes. He's taking the hits. He's finding the wide receivers and the tight ends. Um, case in point, the S Super Bowl 51. Uh, down 28-3 and three against the Falcons and I think we all know the masterclass that happened in the fourth in the fourth quarter when they made that comeback winning it in overtime so I think Brady as a player I think is more vital to the Patriots Again, Belichick had. Uh, okay, wait. So you, so you've made your, you've made your initial point. Yeah. You've, you've thrown down the gauntlet. Yeah. So I'm gonna let Rupam reply to that. So pretty strong points he has over there. Yeah, I was actually wondering whether or not because we kind of discussed in generalities before we we decided to do this, but we never really decided like what each. We never talked about what our opinions actually were. Mm -hmm. I don't think. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised because I thought you would say Belichick because that's why I was wondering whether it would be a debate or not. Because in my opinion, it's because of Belichick's uh, leadership that uh, the Patriots have been able to pull off the miracles that they've been uh, able to pull off. Not only that, I think Belichick was central to uh, Brady being such a great quarterback as well. Uh, 
I was looking at, I, I mean, this, in terms of the quarterback as a position, this does not mean that much, but like bef- in his college career and even in his uh, high school career, he was a good quarterback, but he wasn't like as amazing as he turned out to be. One of the, the reason I say Belichick is because to me, Belichick, Belichick has the ability to recognize, uh, A, he understands uh, he, he's sort of a specialist of all different positions, right? And he's able to provide uh, players with the kind of guidance they need to be the best in those positions. And I think that's one of the things uh, Brady benefited from as well. And uh, like I, I personally feel like um, one of the reasons like the Belichick left the Jets so dramatically was because Robert Kraft, uh, I mean, he was unhappy with like the situation there anyway, uh, but I think he'd also learned a lot from being in the Browns and the Jets. And I think like when he went to the negotiating table with Robert Kraft, I think Robert Kraft basically gave him like this position that was a coach, but also like a pseudo GM position where he could make a lot of these executive decisions that he was not able to make. And I think he's able to build that sort of... Um, um, he, he's basically been able to demonstrate that because one of the things you have to realize is you may not have had a Brady career was if it was not for Belichick. Because if, if Brady didn't get picked till the 199th, you know, uh, spot, who's to say like what would have happened to Brady? So that's a, that's a fair point. I'm going to get into, well, I'll ask, let me ask you to Yash's point that, um, Tom Brady is the player on the pitch. He's making the calls. He's taking the hits. What do you have to say about that? I'm very glad that you, because I'd forgotten that for a minute. That's actually a very Belichick-esque argument that he made. Because that's the kind of thing Belichick... So you're saying Yash is also a genius manager. (laughs) (laughs) Sure, he he has the potential to be. No, what I'm saying is like, dude, I think like one of the things that... Belichick is right. Like the the t- the players definitely are the ones that take the hits. They're the one that you know at the end of the day execute the plays and stuff. But I think, and this is why I think Belichick is uh, he's he's like one of those geniuses who does not understand his own genius. I think like he what he doesn't understand is yes, players make those decisions and players uh, you know execute those plays and all that. They're the ones that put numbers on the board. That's true, but. You need some sort of organization around them. You need a voice to to lead them, to guide them. Uh, and I think that is Belichick, and that that's Belichick through Brady as well. Now I'll throw 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 you this: Brady is definitely one of those quarterbacks who has that innate quarterback esque ability, right? Because we know as much as you know numbers you know sports is numbers and stuff but the quarterback position is beyond numbers it's a leadership position and you have to be a leader on and off the field and i do think that brady has a lot of uh, characteristics that make him a very good uh, quarterback off the field as well because he makes sure that he fosters relationships with his fellow players which is a very important uh, thing to have in a quarterback because I think that translates directly onto the relationship they have on the field. So I'll, I'll give you that one. Okay, so, and also to Rupam's point that, well, obviously, to, I guess, Belichick had the genius to bring in someone like Tom yeah. Brady, right? So obviously, <laughs> if he had the knowledge and the foresight as a coach and as, like, having that vision for the Patriots, that would not have happened if Belichick wasn't there. So... How like why would you say that in that case Brady would is more instrumental than Belichick to their success? So here's the thing, um, I would have agreed to the point had Brady been picked in the top sixty or seventy picks, right? But when you're picking a player for the one ninety ninth pick, I don't think foresight uh, played much part in that because when you look at players like um, Jordan and Kobe who were drafted. They weren't the top picks. They went on to become the, the best players on the planet in their in their eras. Of course, MJ is the best player of all time. But they were not picked with with the first pick. So I think the same thing goes to Tom Brady. I don't think it, it was uh, Belichick's genius to pick Tom, Tom Brady that he knew that this guy would lead them to nine Super Bowls and, and six championships. It's just that 
Brady without Berechik would still have been Brady. He would have still come through as one of the greatest players to have ever played football. He probably might not have won as many championships, but that, that's also arguable uh, as to where he would have landed in that draft. So I think Brady's talents did not come out because he was picked by Belichick. Brady won championships because Belichick and Brady worked together. Um, but would Belichick win as many championships without Brady had he uh, not picked Brady? Had he picked someone else or if, uh, had he gone around um, picking up a free agent? That's a little uh, arguable. Because uh, when we saw that Brady got injured in 2008, uh, the backup quarterback took over. I think Cassells uh, yeah, I took over, years. and mm. they went to a to an eleven and five record. Um, but of course, they had the pieces around them. And then Jimmy G, uh, Jimmy G came in in, in twenty sixteen when Brady had the Deflate Gate scandal going on for four games, and they went three and one. So they're all really talented quarterbacks. The problem is without those extra pieces that Belichick laid out, would Belichick win a championship? without Brady would could 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 he pick up any other quarterback on this planet with the exception of Aaron Rodgers hmm. who Don't I think me. tell him man like, who I think, he's the one who's who asking I think, these questions who I think who I think is way more talented as a quarterback than Tom Brady so with the exception of Aaron Rodgers Tom uh, Belichick and Tom Brady could not have worked had Brady not been that clutch guy that he was okay so but is Belichick not again but see again that's the thing was Belichick again not wrong in letting Tom Brady go? Because Tom, because okay. Belichick said that he wouldn't pay Tom Brady what okay. Tom Brady wanted. To let's let's not let's paid. not let's not get there just yet. Let's not get there just yet. Okay. Let me ask yeah. you this yeah. just as a follow-up question. Yeah. So, okay, you've both made very good points. Mm-hmm. But if you had to build your own team, say you guys were the owners uh, of these uh, of these teams. Who would you build your team around? Would you bring in someone with the genius of Bill Belichick? Or would you bring in someone with the athletic prowess of Tom Brady? What do you, like, where, what's your starting point? Yeah, it builds perfectly into what I was going to say anyway. I would, I would pick uh, Bill Belichick to be my coach because That's he, your starting point. Right, because the thing is, like, yeah, I was going to take the conversation outside of Brady. Look at the great team he was able to build around Brady that helped Brady like win those championships as well. I don't think Tom Brady wins if he has like, I'm a Seahawks fan, right? But Pete Carroll can't do with the Patriots, I don't think. And he was the coach. uh, He was also uh, the coach for uh, the Patriots at one point. I can't remember what year. But I don't see him doing, even with Brady, with Patriots, what Belichick, uh, Belichick was able to do with Brady, with the Patriots, and building that whole team. But is that yeah. Bill Belichick or is that, or, or is that Robert Kraft? Because see, look at this. Of all the non, non-New non England championships that have been won, so we're looking at 2011 Packers when Aaron Rodgers won the championship. And this was literally Aaron Rodgers who won the championship. It, was, it had nothing to do with Mike McCarthy being a genius coach, mm-hmm. right? Right. Or when uh, Roethlisberger won twice with the Steelers. Um, or even when uh, uh, Peyton Manning won uh, two Super Bowls. Uh, so not the second Super Bowl, second Super Bowl. Uh, his, his defense won it for him. But the thing is, having that star quarterback, having that absolute genius player who can make something out of absolutely nothing. That I, I, I think case in point, that 28-3 deficit, Super Bowl 51 and in the last 10 minutes of the game Brady just comes in and and scores straight 25 points hmm. puts them on, puts them level and wins it in 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 in, in overtime um, so here's my point the thing is that you can have a great coach but it also there's a lot of variables that oh you could have a great owner who will help you build who will give you that salary space that 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 cap space and and let you build players around him. But not every team can go through that. But then you're Belichick saying was, start with a great owner then. No, or are you saying... No, get get the absolute best quarterback available or get the absolute best wide receiver available. Mm. Even with um, not the best team out there, when Eli Manning won against uh, with the Giants in 2007 against a 16-0 uh, 
Patriots. Mm. The only undefeated team since 1972, I guess, when Miami Dolphins went undefeated. This was the first team since then that won 16 and 0. And Eli Manning with the Giants beat the Patriots in the 2007 Super Bowl. It came down to Eli Manning. Mm. So the thing is that you can have a whole season go through. Uh, the coach builds a great team around you. you can, he, he, he can give you Amendola and, and Gronkowski and all all those great players that you have. But at the end of it, when none of those players work, the quarterback has the ball. Mm. He's the one who makes something out of nothing. Mm. Okay, but then so do- wait, wait, like I'm just gonna get him because I guess it's tough to predict. Like when you have a uh, when you have a coach who's seen as much success as Bill Belichick, it's tough to kind of nail that down to be like there's a lot of good quarterbacks out there. There's a lot. Tom Brady is obviously one of the greatest, but to replicate the kind of success that the Patriots have had, I think obviously some bit of it comes down to Belichick as well, but. it well i guess going forward and this is where like my last question is going to be is now we've obviously seen brady is gone so they're not together anymore and he's gone to the buccaneers so what do you think is going to happen in the season going forward do you think who do you think is going to have more success do you think it's going to be brady or is it going to be belichick um so i looked this up recently cuz i did not know this till actually today but the buccaneers have got have recently gotten a new coach as well his name is bruce uh arian suspect oh, shit, very dude. suspect oh, name oh man dude yeah. last time like arians were in charge yeah, like it's not it good not for, well no, for the rest of us man no good for nobody yeah dravidians took an l on that one yeah no but i was just like quickly so he he used to be uh the cardinals head head coach and as head coach he's been two times associated press nfl coach of the year uh and two times super bowl champion as assistant coach i think once with the steelers and once with the cardinals so he seems like a guy with a solid record like i had a uh, a very strong opinion of this before i knew that like i was going to say no it's definitely belichick is going to pull this off but like mm. now that i've seen that they they're making more the buck it's not just that buccaneers got uh brady obviously that was they also but, have a good coach right that might yeah. and that might have been part of the uh negotiation that brady made hmm. uh because um i mean i i don't think like brady's had such a great career i don't think he'll go somewhere to just like ruin his career So I I'm not sure where Brady uh where where the Buccaneers are going to go. I'm I just think that the Patriots will be fine. I just think that I trust Belichick's uh decision making and his uh just his record, quite frankly. Hmm. Uh to be quite comfortable in saying that I think I see them doing just fine. But fine or better? Again, gun to your head, man. Twenty twenty I mean, sensationalism, dude. Better? What do you mean better? Like they, they can just. They, you're talking about the Patriots. If they continue doing just be- as good as be- they've no, been doing, no, better than the Buccaneers this season. Because yes, again, because this that's season, what yes. Decides, hypothetically, in this situation, um, as well for the sake I'll, of this I'll, argument, it's an indicator of who really contributed now, more to the success. He's going to disagree with me on this, but yes, I think this season, yes. Uh, Bruce Arian is he's a new coach mm-hmm. and he's going to take him some time to adjust to the team. Tom Brady is new with the team. He, he is I mean I'm sure sure he's played these people. He's they're his friends and stuff, but that's different than playing with these guys on the field, right? Mm-hmm. Belichick knows most of his team already, mm-hmm. right? Even though he doesn't have Amendola anymore. He doesn't know his star quarterback though. He has two quarterbacks in the tuck. Yeah. Right? He just doesn't have like a starting quarterback. He can't rely on it. So wait, no, let, let, let me let okay. me move let me move to Yash. So like what do, what do you think is going to happen moving forward? So here's the thing. Tom Brady with the Bucks, of course he didn't go there to go and ruin his legacy, right? He knew he had a plan. Uh a new coach comes in. But here's the issue with the Bucks. As good a defense the Patriots had, the Bucks don't even come close to it. The offense one can argue is on par with the patriots hmm. so they have a good offense um 
and that's where I think the Bucks can win games. The offense is basically going to lead them to wins. But who do I think will achieve more success this season? Um, I think I'll have to go with the Patriots for now. Because as of right now, we don't know who the starting quarterback is. This might, the, my opinion might change in the next five hours, in the next five days. Right. Um, the Patriots do have Jerry, uh, Jared Stidham and Ryan Hoyer as the, who are who are, who are Brady's um, backups. Um, and Stidham is yeah. being um, touted to take over as the starting quarterback. But again, you look at the, look like at the, the free agents, you, know, you have Cam Newton, hmm. you have James Winston. I'm looking um, for quick answers here, man. Right, so I think Patriots will do better this year only because they have a team set up. Um, and a decent enough quarterback can at least lead them to the playoffs. Do they win the Super Bowl this year? That's not happening. The Super Bowl, I think, comes down to, again, Lamar Jackson, man. Lamar Jackson with okay, the Ravens but, but the question and Patrick is, who Mahomes. Does better? Who does who better? Is the, better? Buccaneers, the Buccaneers or the Patriots? I, I think I they think both do equally well. They will just make the no, playoffs. No, gun to but your not, head. Look, I gun think we can both agree. Look, look, I'll say this. Brady uh, will have a very productive season. As a player, he will do better than Belichick does as a coach. Okay. There you have it. I think we're going to end this right now. Right. With gun to your heads, you guys will live and die by these judgments that you have just made on this show. <laughs> okay. A well, year from now, we will look at this a and quick one point. of you will be laughed at. No, no. A quick point and a little olive branch that I like to extend. No. Gun Wait, to hold your on. Head. No. The thing is, knowing what we know now, that is the best you can say. You, the best you can say is like, I know, Belichick I know. knows not, his team, yeah. right? Brady's going to a new place. He's never worked with Bruce Arians anymore. He's never worked with that team anymore uh, before, right? So, him, it's a, it's a more of an unfamiliar situation sure. for him than it is for Belichick. Yeah. Right. He's no, worked I with know, new players. I know, I'm joking. I'm not going to say there's it's, an actual gun to your head. It's unfamiliar, but the die. thing is, if we're looking oh at... Oh, my God. Okay. See, this is, I knew so, <laughs> this is what would happen. I knew this is what would happen. Fucking cut, okay. cut okay. the tape. Okay, cut that's... The, make a okay, wait, yeah, we'll, cut we'll, the, we'll cut stop. Cut the tapes. I'm calling yeah. the cops right now because there's <laughs> fucking alcohol involved. You guys are getting to this point again, and I can see it getting worse. Final point. 30 seconds, final point. The greatest quarterback in the history of this sport. The, the greatest quarterback, not the best quarterback. Tom Brady has a very productive season, leads the Bucks to the playoffs. They don't win the Super Bowl, but they're going to start building from here on. Okay, your final thoughts. Uh, well, those are pretty much my final thoughts, the ones I said earlier. Oh, who was better? But to me, Belichick is just better. Like, I just think without Belichick, the Patriots would never have been this uh, amazing team that they began, uh, they, they become. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so there you have it. You've heard Yash and Rupam's comments on uh, who they think is better. Obviously, this is a tough debate to have, but let us know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video as well. Peace out. You guys didn't yeah. kill each other. Very yeah. glad about that. Cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. Ra. Got it.